Update 3 on Cyclone Bansi, which is the first Category 5 storm of 2015 with winds of 160 miles an hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. Its position is 17.5 degrees south, 57.3 degrees east. That's at 2 a.m. UTC, January the 13th, 6 in the morning in Mauritius. The storm may even intensify further yet as it heads towards the uh, east or east-southeast. Um, as a Category 5 storm could peak with winds of 175 mile per hour winds or even higher than that. Um, irrespective of that, the storm will pass um, quite close to Mauritius, around 140 nautical miles or so, um, and could produce tropical storm conditions on the islands, perhaps even gusting to hurricane force. But um, unless the storm does take a dive towards the south, uh, effects on the island of Mauritius shouldn't be too significant, but people should be preparing there um, in case of the worst. Uh, class 2 warnings in effect for Mauritius and a cyclone pre-alert still in effect for uh, the neighbouring island of Reunion as well. Uh, the storm is expected to dive towards the southeast after it passes Mauritius. Um, if it does decide to do that a bit prematurely, obviously we could see a bit uh, of a worse situation, but that's not particularly likely at this time. Looking at the sea surface temperatures right now, they're fairly warm, around 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's likely to drop off over the next few days as it heads towards the uh, southeast, but the storm won't be moving particularly fast over the next two days or so. Um, that means that Mauritius could possibly see more problems in the in the um, means of rainfall, perhaps, rather than the strong winds. Uh, wind shear is remaining fairly low, high amounts towards the southeast, and that could uh, penetrate the storm possibly in the coming days. Uh, there's a storm on the water vapour imagery, quite uh, easy to spot there, the eye at the centre of the storm and the Invest 93S over Mozambique at the moment too. Looking at the latest satellite imagery on these uh, floater images, uh, not animated unfortunately because they don't really supply that around this part of the world. Uh, it certainly appears that around the eye there there's a very strong uh, central core of the storm eye wall uh, with the worst parts of it possibly towards the direct north and perhaps the southwestern part of the uh, storm. Uh, you can see the islands of Reunion and Mauritius, uh, Mauritius directly south of the eye at this time. Uh, you see some of the spiral bands affecting that island at the moment, but the worst of those are towards the southeast at this time, so sort of getting away with it just that little bit at the moment, not looking all that bad on Mauritius compared to what you could see uh, towards the eye of the storm, but certainly winds of 160 miles per hour gusting much higher than that. No one can let their guard down with a storm so close to the island of Mauritius. As of January the 13th, 2015 at 2 a.m. UTC, of course we have Bansi, we also have Invest 93S, and we have Invest 92W, I believe, in the Western Pacific, which now has a TCFA issued, which means it could form in the next 24 hours. 90P still going in the South Pacific too. So, our first storm, the year started off with the with a bang. Of course, the first storm of the year is now a Category 5 storm. So, um, certainly a strong start this year. Um, of course, a long way to go towards the end, but there it is, the 27th busiest season on record. 2014 finished up with 80 in 22nd place. You can follow Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, as always, is the main place to stay up to date for all the goings on around the world, storm wise. Uh, plenty of updates throughout the day tomorrow. Of course, the video pages too will also keep you regularly updated whenever possible um, throughout my busy schedule away from Force 13, of course. And uh, also the uh, social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 on those, at Force 13 on Twitter. And you can speak to me personally on Skype, at Fool 13 on there for a tropical weather chat. The next update on this storm, I shouldn't imagine, will arrive until 8.30pm UTC on January the 13th. That's all for now, though.